I'm CK. I've been doing a lot of Learn to Solder kits recently, and I picked up another one from Amazon that came today, and here it is, and it's really tiny. I don't think it's going to take much time, though it did cost as much as much larger kits, but we'll see how it goes together. Hope you enjoy the video. So here's the kit from Open Source Hardware, Learn to Solder Kit, Blink, New, Step-by-Step -step Instructions at LearnToSolderKits.com, which we'll take a look at. Made in California, which for, as a California resident, that's good. Back says nothing, Learn to Solder Kit. Let's see what's inside. Up, oh, no notes in here. We created the kit to hold your hand, to hold in your hand, to share the love and excitement we found in making, which is very cool. I uh, hope it brings you joy on your voyage of making mistakes, solving problems, and chasing curiosity. Yeah, that's all good. That's kind of why I do this channel also. So let's open the package up, see what's inside. Ugh. 2032 battery, standard 3 volt battery. We've got the instructions, parts list is the PCB, 3 volt battery, LEDs, 3 resistors, 3 switches, and a battery holder. And then instructions. So let's look at the uh, circuit board first see how now this is I will say this is better quality than many learn to solder kits which are very basic through hole boards this one does have plating all the way through the lead holes which is good and obviously it's going to be it's a real simple the battery comes in here you press the switch uh, uh, resistor buffered LED comes on. So that's really straightforward. Again, I don't think this is going to take much time. And there's the parts. And I'm going to go, let's go ahead and pull over, pull over to the website, get rid of this oscilloscope traces from last night. And no, I don't want to give you my email. Let's look at the instructions for Blink. Parts, tools, technique, okay, basic technique. I've seen better. Oh no, here it goes. This is good. This is okay. And then tells you how to put the resistors in, trim them off, battery holder, the switches, and the LEDs. And then some troubleshooting, and that's it. So the instructions are as basic as the kit. So I'm not even going to pause the cameras as I heat up the soldering iron, we'll just dive right into this. Because it should take us of not much time, of course. But along the way, we'll see how the solder adheres. That, that, these 200 ohm are kind of low for a resistor in line with an LED, but I assume they know what they're doing. Ah. This board, this circuit board is also thick, thicker than usual. One thing I will say, you can, you can see the traces. I, it would have been maybe nicer to have them a little more contrasty, so you could see exactly uh, without 
squinting or whatever. Maybe go with a slightly lighter color. They're, they're kind of a purple right now. Okay, so there's the resistors. Let's... I'm almost out of this roll of solder, so I'm using it up. Let's see how the solder adheres to the board. That's pretty good. And the circuit board material is, has a pretty good solder resist on it. Clip the leads off. And what do they want us to do next? Oh, put the battery holder on next. Okay. And it says in very big letters, do not solder the included battery. Batteries are sensitive to heat. So yeah, don't, you don't want to do that. Let me see. So that's the way it's, it goes as, as guided. Let's see, can we put it in the wrong way? Or the other way? Yes, we can. Would have been nice to have a keyed battery holder with offset pins or something like that for a beginner. So they can't, because the key goal with a beginner is you want to minimize the mistakes they might make. And putting the battery holder on backwards would not be bad. You just have to slide the battery in from the other side. But uh, if they think they've done it right and they try and put the battery in and it's not working right, they may get frustrated or surprised. So think about trying to find a battery holder that's keyed. There are many that are keyed. Now I'll put the switches in. And yes, they mentioned they only go in one way, and that's true. It's one, two, three. You know, I don't think I'm, I usually spend three to five hours editing a build video. I don't think I'm going to be doing that on this one. Now one thing, as I'm soldering these switches down, I'm thinking, one thing I don't see is there isn't a schematic or there isn't a even a simple theory of operation. Uh, it would have been nice to have that too. Again, the young builder may not understand it all, but that's not the point. The point is to uh, expose them to it. Okay, they don't care what color you go first with, so that's fine too. So we're, I'm just going to put all three of them on. And this is my soldering tip for LEDs that are supposed to be flush to a board. Uh, don't worry about it all that much. Solder one leg like so. Then put your finger against the LED on the back. Reheat that solder joint like so. And you can feel it click onto the board. So now it's completely flat. And that's the way you can make sure it's completely flat. Don't solder both legs. Solder one leg and then adjust. That holds true for IC sockets, pin headers, uh, power connectors, all kinds of things. It just makes your life easier. You're not trying to 
be perfect when you're soldering, the solder goes on and then you touch it up. There, like so. So I, I think you may even have heard that click onto the board. Now they're all flat on the board and I can do the other leg. Of course polarity matters with LEDs and the instructions show you how the long leg is the positive side, the short leg is the cathode and negative side, and also on the negative side there's a flat spot on the LED. So they guide you through all three ways to identify uh, how to put the LED on correctly. Now, let me take a quick look here. Looks like we've been at this almost 15 minutes. Where'd the battery go? I'm going to turn this light off. And we'll take the battery out of its container, maybe, if I can do it. Yes, I could. Yay! Slide the battery into the battery box. Now we'll press the button. Ooh, blue. Ooh, green. Ooh, red. See if I can get all three. Should be able to. These shouldn't draw that much power. Yep. So that's it. Super short video tonight, but it's a super super short project. Uh, it's a it's a good project for perhaps the f very first kit your young builder does. I would say this is completely appropriate for a nine or ten year old, even a precocious eight year old. The one thing I will say is this costs thirteen dollars on Amazon. And there are lots of kits that have lots more functionality that are the same price or less. You can get a good beginner solder practice kit for seven bucks that does a lot more and has a lot more components. So this is I know it's only 13 bucks, but still, it's a little pricey for what you get in it. And the uh, user guide, again, or build guide, does not have a schematic, does not have a little uh, theory of operation section, which I think is really important for this type of project. Because you're not just teaching them to solder, you're getting them used to uh, what the components are and basic theories of operation. They may not understand it, but they're starting to hear it, they're starting to read it. And I think that's important and they miss that in this kit. So it's an okay kit. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. There's lots of better, in my opinion, learn to solder kits out there. Uh, heck, the Alenco kit I did uh, the other night is the same level of complexity. In other words, it's very simple to do, but it's bigger, uh, has a lot more things to do, the guide has more instruction in it, and it's about the same price. So uh, this is okay, but not high on my must-get list. But hope you enjoyed the video.